Well, it is time for our final Mad Science Monday of the month. So we have brought back two of our favorite guys, Tom McAllen and Jolting Jonathan, with one final experiment. I'm so excited. <laughs> Good morning, Michaela. We're, uh, we're happy to be here. We've been talking about air and how different things uh, work with air. And of course, sometimes that air gets a little out of control. We showed you the uh, vacuum jar with the peanuts flying around. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes wind can get can really bad. Kind of crazy. You probably remember uh, back in the end of October, we had that really, really bad nor'easter. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of wind and storms and everything. And that's actually that pressure difference that we've been talking all about is what causes that crazy weather. And today, we wanted to kind of talk about when those pressure differences cause things to go a little bit haywire. And um, let's direct our attention to these cuffs right here. What's happening is that Tom McAllen <laughs> actually has what we call a vortex generator. And it's that air pressure. If uh, he turns it to the side so you can see a little bit, why don't you come in here a little bit, Tom McAllen, so you can see. The vortex generator is basically just a drum with a hole in the bottom. Wow. Cool. But the air goes inside, and then when you just tap the drum just lightly, it changes that pressure. It pressurizes the air, and the air goes flying out, and we get those. And we've, we've added a little bit of special smoke effect with a, with a special chemical that simulates smoke, but we're getting that amazing wind, and you can actually see the wind, and it's all from those pressure differences. Now, sometimes... Who filled this place with smoke? I don't know. It's probably, <laughs> probably my boss, but you know how those things get. So oftentimes, though, when we get those storms, if you remember back in the end of October, we also had lightning. Mm -hmm. So we've actually, we've got some indoor lightning. This is actually a really, really cool uh, device. Uh, some people call it a Tesla coil. It's actually called an Odin coil. And my Odin coil, I'm going to move this thing right there, <laughs> actually makes lightning. So we're going to make indoor lightning. I'm going to try and get that in the shot right there. Okay. As we can see, I press this button, and it's going to send electricity down to my conductive plate. <gasps> I saw it. Wow. You got a lot more than you can see. It lights off. You can really see it. But um, what's kind of scary is sometimes lightning will set trees on fire. We know the forest fires in California were caused by a couple of errant lightning strikes. Yeah. So what I have is I have a special chemical right here called flash paper. And let's see if we can actually start our own little lightning induced forest fire with our flash paper pretty cool it is <sighs> it is uh, scary when it happens in nature but cool when you're doing it in the safe environment like you guys are for showing exactly. us exactly and how, how can we do something safe at home well for at home we actually have i've got an experiment you could try at home and this is a chemical that most people can get you can order it online you can order it at a lot of different places um it's a chemical called sodium polyacrylate now what we're going to do um we've actually given you some you're going to take some of that sodium polyacrylate okay. and dump it in your cup as you can see i've got this beautiful crystalline cup right here and my sodium polyacrylate grabs water we can't make real snow well we can but it's really really messy and ruins the floor so we're going to make some fake snow and all i'm going to do with that tiny amount of sodium polyacrylate it's going to soak up all this water that i've got right here okay and let's Let's see what happens. So, Michaela, why don't you dump your water as I do on three? Ready? One. All of it? All of it. Just okay. dump it right in there. One, two, three. And then something's going to start to happen. <gasps> we this are is making awesome. snow. And we can just dump that snow. And as you can see, we're still making snow and it's still full. And we're still, we're dumping that snow out. And we've made lab made snow it's not the same thing but it's that special sodium polyacrylate that's insta snow that a lot of people use around the holidays to make that fake snow and it's not cold and it's not wet and it's because that chemical grabs all that water and holds onto it this is awesome guys i love this experiment so much now we've sent along that you can share with your viewers uh, something to, to so they can make their own uh, snow ornament if you will this is a crystal ornament that they can make, and we'll send along the directions on how to do this. This is just salt crystallized, and they can make a snowflake, or they can make a Rutherford atom, as we did. Um, 
but we'll send the directions along and you can share that with all your viewers. Guys, thank you so much. You know, we're going to make it snow for the rest of this segment here as we close things <laughs> out. So uh, happy holidays and thanks for joining us this morning. If you want to make your own little ornament, go to roadshow.com.